We are Ramily. I got Matthew Stafford with me. What's up, everybody? Nick Costos here. Board of Spreads presented by BetMGM. Week 7 in the National Football League. Put the record on the screen, you jerks. 1-4 in four last week for your boy. Honestly, I'm an asshole. But you know what? We're going to keep the good times rolling, hopefully, this weekend. And honestly, if you hate my picks, fade them. Maybe you'll get rich. Keyword, maybe. All right, let's get to it now. And first, we pay homage to the jerk Board of Spreads. Board of Spreads been an asshole thus far this season. We need to do better. First, the games. I have no interest in betting. And we will start with the Dolphins and the Colts. Miami comes up the bye. Tyler Huntley, the quarterback. We think Anthony Richardson's going to start a quarterback for Indianapolis. Do I want to bet on Mike McDaniel to figure things out for Miami coming out of the bye with no Tua? F- no. Do I want to bet Anthony Richardson for the Indianapolis Colts? F- no. You want to bet this game? F- off. No bet for me with the Colts and the Dolphins. We will now go to the Panthers and the Commanders in our nation's capital. Washington, a seven and a half point favorite. Honestly, this looks right. I don't even have a joke. This, it's perfect. No bet on the game with the Commanders and the Panthers. The next game that I have no interest in betting. That's actually it. So we'll go to the if then games now. All right, so now we go to London with the Patriots and the Jaguars on Sunday. Here's what I can tell you about Jacksonville. Per their safety, Andre Sisco, he has done two things. One, wrote the thong song. Number two, he said in the locker room after the game last week that the team quit. They quit, 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 quit. And you want to bet the Jaguars this week? Only one bet. It's gonna, 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 gonna. It's gonna be May. Only one bet, and it's on the New England Patriots in London against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Well, here's a bet that's going to make you want to file a lawsuit against yourself. If the point spread goes to seven with the Browns against the Cincinnati Bengals with no Amari Cooper, I know you don't want to do it. You didn't want to do it last week, but I told you, rough, rough, dog pound. Browns plus seven if it gets there against the Cincinnati Bengals. All right, Texans and the Packers in Green Bay. What a game this is going to be. I love love. Love rules. Yeah, yeah. And we are all Stroud boys. The Houston Texans have been awesome this season. Now, here's how we want to bet this game. Total is 47 and a half. If it goes down to 47, we will bet over. We like Stroud and we love love. We like offense in Houston and Green Bay. The next if-then game. Oh, man. I mean this sincerely. You, the person watching this right now, I'm talking to you. You might be on athletic, so am I. You might be a slap. It's possible. If you started at quarterback for the Titans this weekend, I would bet Tennessee. If Will Levis starts, never, never Will Levis. Absolutely not. If Will Levis plays, we bet the Bills. If anyone else, me, this guy, this guy, come on camera here. You, come on camera. If this guy plays quarterback this weekend, my buddy John for the Tennessee Titans, we're going to bet the Titans wearing Titan blue. Get off the camera. Otherwise, it's the Buffalo Bills coming up on Sunday with the Titans and Buffalo. All right, now we go to the five best bets for this week. How about Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni? He's the NFL's version of Britney Spears. He shaved his head during the bye week. He's screaming at fans. And if you bet the Eagles this week at the end of the game, you know what you'll be saying? Oops, I lost my bet again because they're not going to cover against the New York football Giants. Bet against Sirianni. Giants plus three against the Eagles. Next one. Oh, man. How about this game? Lions lose Aiden Hutchinson last Sunday. Maybe a devastating blow. Vikings coming off the bye. But here's what I know that Ryan. Jared Goff tears up the Brian Flores. He's tearing up the blitz. He's going to tear up the blitz. And you know who the real Viking is in this stadium? Dan Campbell. The Lions go into Minnesota, and they win. Oh, my, in Minnesota against the Vikings. Now we go to the Seahawks and the Falcons. And this is just an easy bet on Seattle getting the full three. Seattle's defense getting healthier. Seattle coming off the mini buy. We're going to go against Kirk Cousins when everyone's expecting Kirk Cousins to play well. Seahawks plus three, best bet number three. Best bet number four. I want everybody to sing. We are Ramily. I got Matthew Stafford with me. We're going to lay the Ramily against the pathetic Las Vegas Raiders. The pathetic Tom Brady's their owner. Maybe if he were playing in the game, we'd like it. But he's not. Ram, Ramily laying the six and a half against the Raiders. And we will close. Do you people want to keep doing this? Patrick Mahomes is an underdog. Do you really want to keep betting against him? How did it go in the Super Bowl, people? Andy Reid off the bye. As easy as it gets. Plus is next to Kansas City. Don't be a f***ing idiot. Kansas City plus one and a half. Final best bet for week seven in the National Football League. Make those bets at BetMGM, the sportsbook born in Vegas, and I will see you next week for week eight.